first monument we have here is called Ashtar's Gate, built in the year of Nebuchad Nasser II as a gift to the Babylonian goddess Ashtar, and named the gate after her. It's one of eight gates from the inner city of Babylon, and Ashtar was the main one of them. Follow me, please. More than 1,200 years ago, it was built as the village for the great mosque of Saba right next to it. It's about 50 meters in height and consists of 399 steps. The Imam had to climb it up and down to call for a prayer five times a day. It's still standing in the city of Samara, its original shape and form, and it is now open for tourists. Demons, I'm talking about something that happened recently in our country. Last March of this year, Pope of Mr. Terra was a historical visit, as it was the first time any Pope visited our country, delivered a message of love and peace. Of 35 to 40,000 kilometers naturally existing on site because they are still used both for transportation, they rely on fishing and farming for a living. And we are proud of 2016. The UNESCO acknowledged it as part of the World Heritage List, so right now it's a site by the UNESCO. And they use for fishing there a fishing net called Celia, which is the one you see on top of you right now. The museum underneath those two monuments. Thank you so much for listening. writing system by the year 3200 BC. This writing system would come to be called cuneiform in modern times and proved so flexible that, over the span of 3,000 years, it would be adapted for over a dozen different major languages and countless uses, including recording the law of the Babylonian king Hammurabi, which formed the basis of a standardized justice. 